So does scale length really make a difference? I've heard a lot over the years that it's advised to have a wide variety of guitars if you plan on doing session work, or if you're just a curious person. It's usually along the lines of you need a Strat, a Tele, a Les Paul, or in a more broad sense, something Fender-esque and something Gibson-esque. Along with the unique characteristics of that Strat, Tele, and Les Paul, I think a lot of times it can also come down to scale length as that has a really large contributing factor to tone. A typical Fender scale length would be 25 and a half inches and a typical Gibson scale length would be 24 and three quarters. I don't have those exact brands of guitars, but I do have a 25 and a half inch scale length Silver Sky, 25 inch scale length Vela, and 24.594 inch scale length 594 thin line. So a Strat style guitar, a thin line Tele style guitar with a slightly shorter scale length, and a SG style guitar. I think that'll do just fine when hearing the difference between scale lengths. So let's hear the difference. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. Let's get into it. Before we even get to plugging these guitars in, they have a very different acoustic sound. The Silver Sky having a hair more of an open sound than the Vela, and both the Silver Sky and Vela having a more open sound than the 594, which is a bit more mid-heavy and warmer. If I'm plugging straight into an amp with each of these three guitars, I'm sure the differences that they have unamplified will still be the same differences amplified. I'm sure with different pedals, amps, settings, etc., I could kind of get one of these guitars to sound like the other, but that would defeat the purpose of enjoying the uniqueness of each of these instruments. First, let's hear how they sound doing something jazzy. The 594 sounds the most expected in this genre, but with the tone knob rolled down, the Vela and Silver Sky are pretty cool substitutes and certainly bring a less obvious sound. Let's hear them over some Americana.
they all fit in their own way here. Same pants, different color, or some other better analogy. If anything, this is the kind of genre where the guitarist from a band would use all of these guitars and just swap them throughout the gig to experiment with different sounds. Lastly, let's hear them over some rock. sound like they all sit in the mix differently with varying levels of clarity. Yet again, just like with Americana, they seem to all get the job done just in their own unique ways. Although these guitars have a different set of sounds available, like positions 2 and 4 on a Strat being literally unattainable on a 2 humbucker guitar, the choice between them kind of comes down to preference for me, not really need. One kind of person might lean toward positions 2 and 4 on a Strat for a certain sound, and another person might do the middle position on a Les Paul or SG for the similar purpose. In both instances, you would probably use like, say, the bridge pickup for some rock lead, but depending on the player and their preference, they might go with a Strat or a Les Paul. If you're going for a jazzier sound, the neck humbucker guitar would probably be the way to go, although you could find a Strat style or Tele style guitar with a neck humbucker in it, and then in that scenario, at least I wouldn't really care about the difference. So I guess for me, the difference in scale length between guitars really isn't that important. It's just like a fun different set of sounds and different playing feel. Did you feel like one of those guitars really made a genre come alive in a way that the others didn't? If so, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your opinion. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next week.